gang. Here's version 7 of my solar tower and my attempt to power a PC fan using a Fresnel lens. Unlike version 6, as you can see, this one really does have a tower. And as you'll see, the tower does make a difference. With the paper turbine, at least. Here's a little walk around to show you the setup without the tower. This is the 2 foot by 4 foot Fresnel lens I took from a rear projection TV. And this is the solar collector that turns the concentrated sunlight into heat. The cool air enters the bottom here, and the hot air exits the top here as it passes through the PC fan. First I actually try with my paper turbine. The tower is a 5 foot long 3 inch diameter black ABS tube. So here it is spinning without the tower, and now I'll just attach the tower here. See with the tower, it gets a speed up a little bit. Remove the tower. And then I tried with the PC fan. And now putting on the tower. I left it there for a few minutes to let the black tower heat up, but nothing happened. If I put a stick down there, I can see that I can turn the blades fairly easily. So they're not stuck on anything. Here I'm blowing on the PC fan to get some idea of what airflow is needed. This makes me think that while my solar tower can turn a paper turbine easily, turning a PC fan would take a lot more. And to give you some idea of how my three different blow strengths compare with what you saw with the solar tower, here I'm doing it with the paper turbine. The light blow, medium, and strongest all turn the paper turbine faster than the solar tower could, and yet only the strongest turn the PC fan. I put a cooking thermometer inside there and you can see the temperature is roughly 275 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or around 133 or 34 Celsius. You probably noticed the uh, glass is cracked there. I started out the day with the crack, didn't know where it came from except that it was sometime from the last experiments. And then uh, this morning I just heard a crack and sure enough there's more cracked on there now, big piece. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes the one I mentioned about version 6 of this solar tower. One about this Fresnel lens and mirror setup, but for solar cooking. And for variety, one about how I lit an LED using a piezoelectric crystal and rain power. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.